Hello and welcome to GearHead 704. I'm Matt and guys, we are still of course working on the 86, which has a name now. It's officially Halo. That is what my daughter has named it. This is the Halo GT. We left off last time. We had done a tune up and changed injectors and spark plugs and spark plug wires. And so what I'm starting out with today is actually trimming these things to length because as you can see, they're not in good shape right now. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, we have done that on the channel before. The engine that is in Tar Heel Fox, which is actually making an appearance today right out there. The engine that's in there, that's what I did it on. I have a full video somewhere on my channel. If you want details on how to do this, go find that video. If I can remember and I can find it myself, I'll throw one of those cards. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. But more importantly than this, this is what I'm working on. Um, I got the nice holders and stuff. You really need to pay attention to this part of the video. This part right here, could be the difference in your transmission running as normal or blowing up. This is a one year only part for the trans and in my case it's broken. I found this NOS one and if you have an AOD automatic transmission, you absolutely want to make sure this one is good shape. So we're gonna highlight that, but first, before we get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these spark plug wires up. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse. I haven't done that in a while. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, but definitely stay tuned, especially if you have an 86 AOD. You're gonna wanna see this and watch this. time-lapse I think it died there but take a look at the end product I was using this as a template and also another one cutting it to length you saw Matt helping me out there as he normally does but we have our clamps in place matched it against this one our wire holders rather and it looks pretty good so I'm gonna throw this on and now these will be done and then we get into the fun TV cable and I don't know if it's cable TV certified or or what, but we're gonna figure it all out. I have no idea. I don't know anything about these autos guys, but I am gonna fill you in on what I learned here today. But yeah, let's get it on the car, see how it looks. Let's take a look at it on the car. Look how nicely that is routed. Everything tucked in. You can see, came through under here. Yeah, much better. Check the clearances, make sure we're not on the header anywhere. Matt double check that for me, but we're looking good. This is an example of, let me show you guys. I'm sure you're familiar with this, but I don't wanna mess it up now. Yeah, but see that little, goes right on the stud. So there we go. So let's see if I did it right. Let's, uh, let's try to crank it up, find out. By the way, guys, in between, you see the fans spinning down? For audio, I'm turning the fans off, but yeah, we're pretty hot in here. Pretty hot. Oh, that's how you guys like it. On Gearhead 704, nice and spicy. <laughs> I think I did okay. All right, on to the throttle valve cable. Got Matt here with me to explain why. Matt, why did I buy this part that's, well, here's the part number. Maybe you can hold yeah. it up for me real quick. Yeah, let me hold it up apparently right that's, that's a pretty important part number right there. Right. For an 86. Yeah. So yeah, why'd you make me spend money on this, sir? Because you broke it. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. I did break it. I, I broke it, guys, when I did my heater core bypass. Actually, I just remember this, Matt. Yeah. I'm going to show them lights. We fixed up the bypass that I did. It mm -hmm. looks a lot better now, but I don't think I've shown it to them on camera yet. Here we go. I don't think I showed this to you guys, but it's it's wrapped a lot tight. Now you can really see it. Yep. Looks a lot better. Not doesn't have that kink in it anymore. But anyway, that's how I broke it. But oh. it didn't come out, which apparently was a good thing. Right, yeah, if it had came out, it actually disconnected. When you drove it here, you would have needed a new transmission by the time you got here. <laughs> like, yeah, in no time, right? What were you telling me? Yeah, like? so basically what it is, is this cable runs an actuator within the transmission to increase pressure as you give gas, uh, or as you hit the gas. That pressure is used for many other things, but one of the things it's used for is uh, to apply pressure to the clutches, to the drive clutches so you can move forward. So when this cable isn't attached or working correctly, the transmission is not adding that extra pressure. So basically, it's you're riding on those clutches, they don't have enough pressure to grab, 
So in that case, it literally starts dragging, overheating, burning them up, mm. and that will turn the fluid black, and your transmission stops shifting. Okay, so it's burning up the clutches inside the trans is what it's doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there any, and I think I know the answer to this, but is there any way to know when that's starting to occur? Because if it does happen, basically your transmission's toast, right? Got to rebuild. Pretty much, yeah. Really, the, the only way that you're really going to know that it's happened is the first time you come to a stop after it falls off or breaks or whatever, you start moving again, it might shift from first to second, but that's gonna be it. You're just gonna rev up in the gear. It won't wanna shift anymore. You definitely won't get overdrive. And then usually within a, a mile or two, maybe five miles, a very, very short amount of time, you will burn up that transmission by, you know, those clutches not having enough pressure and burning up. And then you're in mm. for a transmission very quickly. Oh man. So I got lucky. Uh, my cable stayed in there even though I broke it. So yeah, part yeah. of I broke is the retention clip, right? Uh, yeah, it was actually, I believe, I believe it was uh, either this lock locking tab, or maybe it was one of these. I think it was a locking tab. Yeah, one of these locking. Yeah, one of these locking tabs. I think you broke off because that's what that's happening. Is that's not allowing it to stay in the bracket. It's allowing it to fall out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Would you recommend that people replace these just on a proactive basis if they can get a Ford one? Because I know one of the things you says you don't like an aftermarket one. Yeah, I think there's two aftermarket versions out there. They're both kind of like a generic build a cable. I've had bad luck with those. Really don't like those type of setups. I like to go with the original Ford. As far as maintenance, I mean, you know, at the age of these cars, I would say if you could get one, go ahead and replace it just to make sure, uh, you know, your transmission stays in good shape, but it's going to be a tall order finding one. Yeah. And the other thing you can do is when you break it, it's just manual swap, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Isn't that the same as the carb swap? Yeah, you can't do fuel injection. Yes, you but, but you know, we're not going to go there. So <laughs> Mr. 85 yeah. loves his carbs. Kristen likes her AOD. She wants to keep it. She doesn't want a manual swap. So that's yeah. why we got this cable, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. And uh, you got really lucky because when I noticed it was broken, I went, oh crap, because this is a one year only cable. And luckily for you, the week before, I had seen it up for sale. Yeah, and it was still there. I waited a little bit even, because I was like, ah, I don't need you it. You did, it yeah. took a little prod. Pretty typical <laughs> of me, honestly. <laughs> Just like the injector debacle. But anyway, Matt told me to get new injectors, and you know, I was like, yeah, we're gonna clean them. Anyway, you know, guys know how that went. You All right. learn it the hard way. I do, I do. <laughs> Uh, also, though, the cables AOD 8793 have the same thing. It's just a different cable part, right? But it's the same function? It's the same function. Yeah, everything's the same function on it. The same thing happens if it falls off. The only difference, really, is this end where it connects to the throttle bracket. This is where it connects to the throttle lever on the throttle body itself. Uh, it's how it mounts to the bracket. So this is an 86-only setup. The 8793 is different. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, they're just as hard to find. They are. All right. So we got an NOS one. We found one. And uh, we're going to show them how to install it here today, Matt. Right? Do we'll have to. to me. All right. What's the first step? Take the cable out. All right. So I, I guess that. <laughs> yeah. So the first step is going to be we'll put it up in the air. We'll disconnect it from the transmission at the bottom. Okay. And then we'll pull it up through the top. Di well, disconnect it at the bottom, disconnect it at the throttle body, and then pull it out from the top and feed it back in the same way. Okay, so we might time lapse some of this, guys, but we'll also try to highlight uh, where we are when you can see it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started on that. Let's get it higher up in the air, I guess. You can see we're at the bottom of the car. There's Matt's head, and up here on the driver's side is the cable. There we go. Yeah. On there. There we go. There we go. So there's one bolt there we got to take loose. Yep. One bolt there. Then if you follow the cable to the transmission lever towards you, we'll disconnect it from that lever right here. Can right I get here. there? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so disconnect right it right there, and then we'll pull it up top. Oh, it comes up from the top. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're going to try that real quick, let you know how it goes. I'm going to actually do a little wrenching. Can't let Matt do it all. <laughs> all right, guys, as you can see, the cable is now loose from that retaining clip, and we're about to pull it through the top. So, here you go. Now, on this side, underneath here, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. Okay. All right, guys, so what we're looking at here, uh, your throttle cable, which you're normally used to, I think is over here. Over here? Yep. Yep, there you go. There's the throttle cable. Cruise so, control cable attaches at the same point. There you go. And so the cable we're talking about we're removing is over here, which I think you can see that. So this is should be able to what pull down Matt you said on it? Just move it forward. Oh pull move forward. it forward, yep. And yep, then it, it'll it'll, out. it'll loose, loosen up. There we there go. There you go. Alright, and then right here is the cable, which I already broke. So for me it came out pretty easy. Um, just did, had to turn it. Uh, we'll point out where I broke it when I pull it out, and now it's just a matter of pulling the cable up. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, Matt. It is. We can sure. show them where I broke it up. Well, I can show you. Oh, yeah, show me right here. It's right. like, you know, waving at you there. <laughs> Look at that. 
Yeah. So I'm pretty wow. sure I nicked it. You did that. a good job. You didn't nick it. You sheared this one completely off and got well, that one hanging by a thread. Man, uh, it it's, shows. Yeah. <laughs> so for comparison, I do want to like point it out to them. And those are basically the retainers that hold the cable in the throttle bracket. All right. So well, that's broken on yeah. the new one. Yep. Okay. So to get it back in, I mean, it's reverse. That's what everybody says. But do we, uh, we go from the top first? Yes. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You're just going to feed this part right back down and then we'll pick it up, do this part first and then come back up and do this. All right. So we're having trouble getting the orientation right on the bottom. So we decided to hook up the top first and Matt's going to walk us through the steps here. I know that you got to go through here, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Matt. So feed this whole cable through this hole right here. What you're going to do when you put it through, it's going to be in this orientation. So this locking tab right here is going to be pointing straight up. So after you get these two tabs through the holes in this retainer, you're actually going to turn it a quarter turn towards the driver's side. And what'll happen, it will lock these tabs into the bracket and this little tab right here will snap into this extra yeah, small little hole right hole, there. Tiny hole yeah, down. and that'll keep it locked in place. And then we'll go underneath and finish hooking up the cable down there. Okay. Go through the hole. You yep. just need to start turning it? Uh, no, I think you need to push it in a little. Yeah, you need to straight. There, oh, there you go. go. Now turn it. So you're going to go. The right. Yep. There. Oh, there you go. Make sure those tabs don't fall out. There you go. Keep going, keep going. All right, I'm going to need two, two hands for this, I think. Oh, yeah, there it went. All right, and just go until it snaps. Yeah. And there you go. All right, so now it's locked in. Now it's locked in. Okay, and then we got this little well, piece right here. Let's do that after we get the transmission hooked up. All right, see right here, this is the lever. All right, basically it looks kind of rusty and brown. It's the lever and the end of it uh, is the new cable I stuck on. So let me see if I can move the lever for you. Yep, there you go. So I had to stick the cable on there after I connected the cable right there. As you can see, I got that bolt right on. So it was do that first and then spin the end of it to basically move over. And I know this is really rough to see guys, but that lever I was pointing out. So it, it, right here, if you can see this finger moving back and forth, this part slides onto that. So again, hopefully this is helping you guys. Uh, next thing we got to do is lower it down and make sure the connection's good up top. And then we're done. Right, going back underneath the hood here. Um, see if you guys can see this is the end of the cable that we pulled off before. So I'm going to just slide it forward Agreed. and there it snapped into place. Uh, this is the cable I'm talking about here guys. Right here. Uh, sorry. No. <laughs> right here. Don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it. Hold on. Get you down there. Okay. Yeah. That's where my finger's at. That's the bottom. You saw it when we got it off earlier. Pretty clear right here. Not going quite as well. but. Uh, just that slid on pretty easy. So that's almost it. Or is there, there another step, Matt? We just gotta lock the adjustment down. Okay. Which is this little lever right here. And look at the old one to find out which way it goes since there's only one cable, we don't wanna break it. All TV cables are adjustable. And there is a whole procedure for setting it. There's a little plug on the side of the AOD transmission that says it's actually got a TV embossed into the case. Uh, you take that port out, put a pressure gauge in there, an old pressure gauge, and there's a certain like tool that you would use to set this and you put the tool in there, make sure it reads 30 PSI mm -hmm. uh, because with the throttle cable pulled, it's 30 PSI with it off, it's zero. So that's your pressure, your throttle valve pressure. But I had an old Ford tech tell me one time you can skip all that, just hook it up. And after it hooks up, it's going to have, some, it's going to have moved some and where it sits neutral, just lock it right there. He says millions of cars went down the assembly line. That's their procedure. You're just going to flip this lever, this right here. You're just going to push it forward until it snaps down and locks down and you're done. There Good it goes. Good job. There you go. All right. You now have a new throttle valve cable. Yes. Okay. Don't break this one. <laughs> that is the goal. That is the goal. Okay. So in transmission should be good to go, at least from that standpoint. Yes. So. Yep. Okay. That's done. All right. So what's, what's next, Matt? What do we got to do to get this thing on the road? What do you think? Brakes. Yeah. It needs the brakes. So in case you guys missed it. Oh, look at all that white light. Oh, and radiator. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, we have covered everything wrong with this car and the two next big things we're gonna do just so we can drive it are the brakes and the radiator, which when we do the radiator, we'll see what happens with our water pump leaks, our, our hose leaks, because remember that pressure cap is also bad, so we gotta replace the cap. And then we may, we may end up with some new problems from that, but it might be all right too. I need a brake on this one, Matt. Yeah. So maybe it'll be all right. All right, so that's gonna be another video, I think, because I'm tired. You tired, Matt? I'm hot and tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're done, we're done, guys. So uh, hopefully this is a shorter video. Hopefully it helps you guys. I know not super interesting, but hey, goal is get this car on the road, get my daughter driving it, a lot to fix, but would like her to drive it a little bit just, just so it's roadworthy. Like we're not gonna fix the heat. I'm even gonna hold off on the struts and shocks for a little bit, although I am getting those conies. So we'll see. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. But if you need computer repairs or an inspection on your Fox body, be sure to check out Fox Resto. And that's it. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. I think I said next time. <laughs> carbs. You like your carbs, Matt? Yeah, you I'm like them. <laughs> we like our carbs. I like <laughs> carbs and beer. Anyway, sorry, that's potatoes. a blooper. Yeah, potatoes. Uh, and if you need computer repairs, or what else do we get? Inspections, let me do that. And if you need computer player, blah, computer repairs? Computer brains? I need a computer brain, Matt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need something. AI. <laughs> I'm gonna replace with AI. <laughs> if you need computer repairs on your Fox body or you need, okay, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> okay. If you need computer repairs or <laughs> inspections. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this is it. Done it. <laughs> oh, that's how you guys like it. On Gearhead 704, nice and spicy. <laughs>